What do you want to lock me up for? I forgot to open it. Suppose you think I've got to break in. What do you want, Frank? I want to come in. No one's stopping you. Where's Margie? She's asleep. I want to see her. You can't. She's asleep. Tell her I want to see her. No. She needs a rest, Frankie. Why shouldn't I see her? She's my wife, isn't she? She needs a rest, Frankie. She's got no right to leave me like that. And you've got no right to upset her. I don't want to upset her. I just want to find out why she left me. She hasn't left you. Well, she's not home, is she? I told you, Frankie, she just wants to rest. Want to get any breakfast? No, I'm sorry. Why not? I don't want you around here like this upsetting Margie. Because I can't get a job, isn't it? That's what it is. There's plenty of jobs, Frankie. Ah, oh, they're not worth having. I can't work for peanuts. Can't you? You're really having a go at me, aren't you? We'll be here when you come to your senses, Frankie. Look, I know why she left me, because she thinks I'm not good enough for her. You tell her I'll show her. Just tell her that. I'll show her what's going on in the success business. But tell her that she's lucky I'm still thinking about her at all. I'll see you. Don't forget to close and lock your door. Give me a bit of breakfast. Starve a man as soon as look at him. Like a pair of pretty bloody hens. I'm not gonna take the mickey out of me. Oh, jam. It'll be a tin of bloody jam. Bloody place. Bloody savings. Huh. Well, you know what we'll do now? You'll need a bloody rest, Margie McCoy, when I'm through with this. came in to see how Margie is. What for? Well, she's home, isn't she? No. What do you mean? They said she came out yesterday. Yeah, she's gone round to Mum's. I suppose you told her to do that. Oh, has she? Yeah, well, she said she's going round there for a rest, but I know different. You always know different, don't well, you? I know you've been getting at her. Oh, don't try that on with me again. In the hospital, you were blowing in her ear, telling her I'm not good enough for her. I know the way you go on. You treat men as though there's doormats or something. Well, she doesn't. Well, what is she doing? She needs a rest. What from? From you, you stupid galah. Can't you see the way you go on at her? I don't. You're shouting at me now, and I'm not even married to you. I don't even know you. Oh, well, you know her. Yeah, I do, and I know one thing about her. She loves you. So why don't you give her a chance instead of going off at her all the time? You take things too seriously. Oh, don't give me that. It's true. Look, if I was in her shoes, I'd do the same. What, run out on me? She's not walking out on you. Well, what is she doing? You could have fooled me. She needs a rest. It's like a sort of a, a convalescence. Ah, it's a lot of bull. Try and see it from her point of view. I'm sick and tired of trying to see it from her point of view. Why don't you look at it from my point of view for a while? It's not a... She's a woman, isn't she? Right. Well, that's why she wants me to settle down. She wants me to have a steady job. And I don't want any bloody part of it, OK? Well, that's fair enough, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's fair enough. But I bet she comes back to be quick smart when she finds out that I made a fortune with this. Ha! <laughs> Storm guides. You're going back to that bookie stuff, are you? It's what I'm good at. It's not what I heard. Yeah, you've been talking to her, have you? No, I haven't. Who listens to anyone? Well, I went all right at that once. I made a lot of money. Yeah, for other people. For myself. And I'll do it again when I've got a bit of dough behind me. Where would you get that kind of money from? Yeah. 
Look. Two hundred dollars. It's enough there to start a million. Not one of those forgeries, is it? I'll just give us a change, will you, Peter? Make it yourself, did you? You better check it, Marco. Yeah, Come on. Peter, run up. It's near enough. You're in a good mood this morning. Yeah, I thought you'd be right with Margie back. She's not back. She's out of mums. Oh, that's good. Good rest for her. Nothing like a mother at times like this. Yeah, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? 20, 40, 60, 80, a dollar, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Bit flush today, aren't you? Yeah, I had a good week. Did um, Steve Collins leave it here? Him? Oh, he had nothing. That's one thing I'm not going to do, end up like him. Yeah, there's no need to be hard on him. You've got to be hard to survive. It'll be hard on everybody. Now, don't say things that might bounce back on you, Frankie. That's a lot of money to be carrying around. What are you going to do with it? I'm going back into business. I'm taking bets again. <laughs> Not in this pub, you aren't. Break it down, Vi. There's no harm in that. It's bad for him. It's bad for the pub. It's not, you know. I don't like people like that round here. Well, the customers don't mind. Well, I do. You're not going to do it, Frankie. I heard what a mess it made of your life the last time. Oh, there was more to it than that. Uh, not much. I tell you, it's bad for you. You're the sort of person that needs a steady job to keep you under control. That's what you think, is it? Too right it is. Now, you keep away from that SP. And if I hear you doing it anywhere else, you're not drinking in this pub again. Hey, go easy, love. No, I mean it. It's bad for him. He's a family man. Margie won't come back if he does that. OK, OK. It was just an idea. Yeah, you'll keep it that way. I said it was just an idea. Ah, Frankie. Oh, don't you start. Start what? What am I starting? It's already started. Oh, come off it, Pato. Look how much dough have you got? Not a bit. He's loaded. Oh, that's good, because I was looking for you. This might get you out of a hole. Yeah. No, no, this is serious. I got a list of winners could make a fortune. I'm not taking any bets. I'm not allowed to. It's bad for me. No, no, these are good things. I want you to come to the course with me. What for? To get the best odds. Look, mate, there's certainties. Best tips I ever had. <laughs> I've heard that before. Oh, they didn't get these from you. Got them from the jockey. What jockey? Arthur Sutherland? You're joking. I was drinking with him. Oh, where would Arthur Sutherland be drinking with you? <laughs> mate of mine was. Oh, I'm oh come on, Frankie. What would my mate give me these for? Not for nothing. You know the game. Too what he does. I'll keep out of it, boy. This is serious. Frankie's busy. He's looking for a job. Who says I am? Look, it's a mugs game. You don't want to go to the course. Yeah, well, I just might. If you've got the dough, you could make a fortune. He's given me four out of the eight. What do you got? Well, look, Caesar's Child, uh, Maritime. I oh, know, Hippogriff. And Consolation. You couldn't ask for more than that. Might work. Take my advice, Frankie. Yeah, I will when I ask for it. You're a fool, Frankie. At least I'll be a rich fool. Well, you coming or not? No, he's not. Yes, I am. Look. If you're going to be concerned about me, think about something else for me to do. There's no jobs, I told you that. I'll show you. I'll show the lot of you. You'll never learn. So Frankie might come round here tonight. It's after seven now. Perhaps I was a bit hard on him this morning. I'd rather he didn't in a way. You've got to see him sometime. I want to be with him. But I just can't when he goes up in the air at everything I do. He's as upset as you are, you know. And since Steve Collins died, I expect he's feeling very sorry for himself. Yeah, and he's angry when he's upset. Now, if that's him, I'm off. I couldn't face him just now. Well, there is. Inside. Why do you have to lock me out for? I always lock it at night, you know that. What's wrong? No, oh, everything. You better come in. You haven't been drinking, have you? I've had a couple. There's no need for you to come round here drunk. Look, Mum, after what happened to me today, I should be rotten drunk. Sit down. Yeah. I'll get you a cup of tea. Oh, don't bother. I don't want to stay. You might as well have one now that you're here. How's Margie? It's OK. She here? Yes, of course she is. I didn't want to see you just now. Tell me what's the matter, son. I went to the races today with Jackie. He had some good tips. Did he win? 
Yeah, he did all right. It's what I did that... What did you do? Well, I want to tell it to Margie. You can tell it to me. You'll tell it to her, will you? Yes, of course I will. Well, I got all this money, sir, out of the biscuit tin where we stash away a bit, and I took it with me. You don't mean to say you went and lost No, no, I didn't lose it. What, you, you won, you bet with? No, I didn't. Well, with a bit of it. Well, that's the funny thing. I took her with me, and I went up there, and I wanted to show that I could make a success of things. But I couldn't finish it. When the last race came up, I couldn't take it out of my pocket. Why? Well, we was doing all right. We won the first, we lost in the second, won in the third. I knew on the fourth we'd win. Consolation, the odds were a beaut, four to one. What? what happened? Well, that's just it. Jack was going to make a bet, and I was going to give him the dough. I suddenly thought, now look, you're going to win a packet on this, but what's going to happen next? I knew where I got the money, and I felt like a thief. Thought about all the rows we'd had and how they all come about, and it's all because of this. What? Oh, this. This one to make money without working for it. Look, it's all right to bet if you've got a steady job, but I thought of Margie and I just couldn't do it. What did you do then? Nothing. She walked away. I don't know what Jack thought, I never told him. When I come back here. I don't know. It's all right for Jack. He's different. He's got a steady job and he can handle it. I'm just... I oh, know it's bad for me now. It's not getting me anywhere. Yeah. Give this to her. Perhaps you better not tell her what happened because I don't want to upset her too much. Give it to him. More than there was. Could have had double that if I'd have backed the last race, but uh, I reckon it's all over. I just don't want to do the things I used to do anymore. What do you want me to tell Margie? Oh, I just tell her that day. Tell her to come home when she feels like it. Tell her that I'm waiting for her. Nah, nah, don't tell her. That's stupid. Just. Tell her I want her. She knows that. No, you've got to tell her. All right, I will. I'm oh, sorry. I'm a bit mixed up. Well, I've straightened out one thing. I'm not, I'm not interested in the quick quit anymore. That's what Steve used to call it. He was right. It don't mean a thing. I reckon I've changed a bit. I think you have. Yeah. Well, that's all I want to say, really. No, Mum, I don't want to talk anymore. All right. I reckon I'll go up to the pub and see Jack and help him with his wins. I just walked out on him at the races. He wondered where I got to. And you could have won. Yeah. That was good tips. I could have made a lot. I reckon I'll have to do it the hard way from now on. Hey, look, you'll tell her all that, won't you? Yes, I will. I'll see you. Thanks. you've been saying, then you're out of your mind. Look, we had four shirts. All right, one of them went down. But you know what he does? He walks off and leaves me standing there. He can do that if he wants to. But why? He just told you he wants to give it all away. Ah, I've never heard such a lot. Look, Jack, it's Frankie's life, isn't it? Oh, don't start talking to me about that again. It's just bloody unscientific. Look, will you stop waving that about and give it to me? If you're going to throw it around, you might as well throw it in my direction. Yeah, yeah that's true. I might lose it at the dogs. Cheers. Here's to me. At least I enjoyed myself. Uh, me too. 
Kira, if I don't get you, I'm not bitten anymore. I won't miss it. <laughs> not much, you won't. Oh, come on, Jack, give the bloke a go. He's trying to sort himself out. Well, he's halfway there if he's given the ration away. It's not this, that, Jack. I know. Look, I'm just pulling your leg. I've got to get myself a job. Well, that's fair enough. We'll find you one. Oh, uh, look, I can find one myself, thanks. I'm, I'm old enough. Still don't get it, you know. Him giving it away just like that. The fourth winner coming up and he gives it away. Let him alone, Jack. I told you. It's a hard time for him. Remember what you were like at his age? <laughs> I wish I could. You know, I'm 38 tomorrow. Yeah, there's no need to keep reminding us. We well, you know. You've been 38 for the last 10 years. Oh, oh I hear there's a bit of a surprise party for me at your mum's. How'd you find out about that? Oh, I keep me head to the ground. <laughs> Give us another beer. Haven't you had enough, son? Enough? What are you bloody well talking about? I haven't even started hey, yet. Hey, hey, hey. Keep it down. I don't want the missus to hear you. Oh, let it Might do her a bit of good. Might do you all a bit of good. Oh, what's the matter, mate? What's the trouble? Trouble? You wouldn't know about it. You're talking about birthdays of the old bloke here. Hey, break it down. Birthdays. What's wrong with birthdays? You get presents like this. Look at it. That's the only bloody birthday card I got. A ticket to Vietnam. A lot of us get them, mate. A lot of us? What's your raving on about a lot of us? We're not putting you up against the wall on a Sunday and shooting you, are they? Well, they don't have to send you to Vietnam. What would you know about it? <laughs> I've been listening to you. Look, I had a nice thing going where I was. I had a smart job and a few birds and I was going good, right? There's nothing against that. Then some bastard starts playing marbles. You can't do anything about it. Can't do anything. You bloody well be surprised, mate. There's a lot you can bloody well do about it, and I'm doing it. I'm not bloody well going. <laughs> They'll never get me. You can't run forever. Can't I just? I've been living on me wits since I was 13. This is nothing new. Yeah, don't kid yourself. No, I'm not kidding myself. I'm the one who's running this. <laughs> That's what they all say. Oh, look. I had something good going there, and they came and mucked it up for me. Mate, look, how are you going to settle anyway? I told you, I can look after myself. Yeah. Come on, tell us where you're going to settle. I know what I'm doing. Uh, if you knew what you're doing, you'd go in. You'd... you'd check. Don't come that schoolmaster stuff with me. I'm not joking. Go in and get it over with. But why should I? It's supposed to be a free country, aren't it? They've got no right to do that. The rights don't come into it. Why don't you wake up to yourself? There's nothing you can do about it. You're not a bloody genius, mate. You're one of the mob like we are, and we've got to do as we're told. Well, that's all right for you, mate. You're fixed. I heard you talk. The only reason I'm fixed is because I can't do anything else. Look, if they tell you to jump, don't hurt you none to jump. The sooner you learn that, the better. He's right, you know. There's nothing you can do about it. No, you can be a conscientious objector. One of them? We've well, got a bit of self-respect. <laughs> you're too much if you ask me. Well, I'm not asking you. Look, I'm telling you, why don't you wake up to yourself? There's nothing you can do about it. You've just got to lump it. Look, go home. Go into the army, serve your time, get yourself a regular job. Thanks. Where are you preaching next Sunday? <laughs> Blokes like you make me sick. You don't know what you're about. Look, you think the whole world owes you a living. Well, it don't. Take it from me, it don't owe you nothing. <laughs> you're too clever for me, mate. You're too bloody clever for yourself. Just who do you think you are? Look, I'm giving you the oil. Why don't you wake up yourself? But what did I do? Ah, oh, come on, mate. Look, you better go. We don't want any trouble. Yeah, but what did I do? You wouldn't know, mate. You'll never know. Hey, hang on. Hang on. All right, everybody, just help yourselves. You can see what everything is. I must say, that does look nice. Oh, well, it's a snack, you know. Very nice. Hey, just a minute. I don't reckon we ought to get stuck into it right away. Hey, come off it, Jack. I haven't had me lunch. Well, that's your bloody... Bloom and fault. Well, I like me Sunday lunch. <laughs> oh, Jack, I think they want to eat. I know, but I reckon you ought to act special on a special occasion. Well, what's special about it? You've been 38 before. You're just jealous, Patter. You're not going to make a speech, Jack Kelly. Well, I was thinking about it. Oh. Well, that's the truth. We'll never get a feed. Just a short one. Well, if it's a short one, I reckon you've said it. Now, let's get stuck into it. The man should be able to make a speech on his birth. What you doing? Cleaning up. Makes it easier later. I want to talk to you, Skid. Not now. Oh, look, please. Look, they've been there for hours. Please. What do you want to say? Gee, I haven't talked to you until 
since last time I was round here. Mum told me what she said then. I missed it too. No need to start again, Frankie. Oh, look, Skeet, I've got to start somewhere. Sounds like a nice party. Yeah, it is. All together like this. Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. We should be getting back inside. Oh, no, Skeet, look, this is important. Don't just shut me out now. All right. Sorry. Just that I don't want you to get all emotional, that's oh, all. Oh, I'm through with all that. Really? All right, well... I'm trying hard, aren't I? Yes, I know. Look, Skeet, I've been thinking and... I've given away the racing game and all that. I really have, you know. I believe you. Well, it's a mugs game and I don't want to lead that kind of life anymore. What sort of life do you want to lead? I don't know. I haven't had time to try anything yet. I know I've got to have a job and I look through all the papers, but there's nothing much. What do you want to try? I reckon I'll go back to Betterfit. Betterfit? Well, he said he'd keep the job open for me, and I'm not much good at anything else. I might as well go back there. You can be good for me, Frankie. I want to try, Skeet. Look, I'm... I tell you, I'm just about at the end of the road. I'm ready to start again. Yeah, but we're all ready to start again. I've been doing some thinking too. And I don't see why I should leave you on your own. I'm no good without you, Skeet. I'm no good on my own. So, I'd, I'd like to come back if you'll have me. So long as you... I know, yeah. so long as I don't get all emotional. That's about it, yeah. So there we are. Let's go out. Go out? Yeah, come on. Out for a walk. Come on, I want you to. What about all the others? Oh, uh, I couldn't face them now. They'd get all... Emotional. I'd probably end up doing me block or something. Well... Come on, let's go. We'll go. We'll walk around and go to our place. Home to our place. All right. We can slip out the back way. Yeah. We'll be all right, won't we? Last one to the gate's the donkey. Right. <laughs> Instead of it next. We haven't even got a car. <laughs> 